promised I am going to take you all on a virtual shop tour of my new craft shed. Um, I'm naming it Simply Handmade um, and because that's exactly what I'll be doing out here. Me, my girls, my grandkids. Um, just a, a place to enjoy and fellowship and spend time quality time together so um we just came in i got double doors which makes it nice and uh got a um paper towel holder on the door i tried to clean up the doors but um i, I washed them down and all but they do still have a little bit of stain on them but that's okay so this whole wall um was pegboard so what i did is uh i just painted it um i think it looks pretty good and then one of our friends uh had this air conditioner and he gave it to us so it works very good and i'm so thankful to have it um so i set up some stations in my shed i've got just about everything moved out here except for little bitty um items but, um, so we'll start with this side. Um, I've got my um, Janum embroidery machine set up here. Um, and I recently did a uh, podcast um, of everything that you would need um, to start embroidering. So I kind of went through all the items. And as I was setting up my, my area, I tried to put everything I need here. So I've got my hoops my different scissors um, and then I've got some little tidbits of I got extra needles tape measure some of the little tools you need um, when you're working out here um, and then I got my USB um, jump drives these are um, needle threaders I've got out here and I've got lots of thread um, I've actually got this whole thing of thread and one more still in the house. What I'm gonna do with these is we're gonna drill some bigger holes in here somewhere and hang these right here, um, out here in, in the shed. I also got these little cups just for little incidentals. Now I can hang those on the board and I may end up doing that later as I, I get my alignment of where everything's gonna go. Um, and then I've got these bins and these cups, which I really like. In the cups, I also have like key rings key for keychains and little uh, hooks for keychains and zipper pulls and stuff because I make a lot of key fobs and stuff like that. Um, I've got some little cutting mats here um, for size and stuff. It just makes it easier when I'm cutting, cutting things out. So this whole area right here will be my embroidery area. I'm trying to see, can I get it all in here? I think I do, so you can see it. Um, I've always wanted an area big enough to have another extra space to be able to cut things out and hoop um, my material and stuff that I'm gonna be working with. So I hope this is gonna be nice. Um, so we'll see, right? So I've got blanks to embroidery like we talked about in that podcast. Um, these are bolts of vinyl, like marine vinyl. Um, this one's not marine vinyl, but I got it because, uh, oh, I can't see that. I'm sorry. Um, I got it because I had some little puppies and stuff like that I wanted to do. And that brown really is cute um, for a little dog. And then I got lime green. I got yellow. I got some red. I got black and then I've got like smaller pieces down here under my thing. I've actually used enough off the bolt. I just got them folded up in there, but that's all marine vital. Most of it I got from Joann's Fabrics, but I also got like the big bolts I bought. I got them off of Amazon. That was the cheapest place I found and the quality is great. Um, I've got towels. Um, I've got some pink, black, red peach and blue and then i've got little hand towels in this bin up here 
um, all sorted colors um, for hand towels. So what I do with these is I make the little hooded towels with the characters on them for kids. Um, so that's a big hit um, with the little ones. And then I, this is just some a box of beads. Um, the kids like making necklaces and bracelets and stuff like that when they come over. So this thing is full of stuff to make jewelry with. Um, I got it up here so they can't reach it. <laughs> um, this is some of my um, stabilizer. I need to get some more because all I have left is some tear away. I also have some um, wash away somewhere here. I, it's probably in this bin down, down, down here. I just got to get it out and I'll put it in here with this one. Um, this is some felt. This is felt. I use this um, for some of my projects, especially um, the little um, key fobs and stuff. And I just like buy like big packages of them and I cut them um, to whatever size I'm working with. I also like to keep some little f fabrics. Um, I try to keep a good variety of colors and stuff. Um, me and my granddaughter went shopping one day and we ended up buying a lot of the superhero and Harry Potter fabrics. Um, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with it, but I'll probably make something. In fact, I need to take this out um, for 4th of July and go ahead and start to plan something for that piece of um, fabric. Um, so I buy those, just those little squares that um, Michael's, um, not Michael's, I'm sorry, um, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, even Walmart has them. So that's a good thing to keep. I keep these little things. So if I'm working on a project, um, I can get all my little pieces together and kind of prep it. So like if I was making, a, say a badge holder, I would get everything I needed ready to make that badge holder. Um, so I just keep those and, and it helps me sort um, things out as I'm working. Let's see what else I have. Um, these are just some embroidery hoops. I don't really do hand embroidery anymore. Um, but I have made, um, I made a little hanging um, mobile for my granddaughter. We just tied different colors of fabric to it and hung it up. It's actually in the corner of her bedroom now. So that really comes in handy. And I got those, I think, at the flea market or yard sale. Um, and then this is just some ribbon. Um, I got a ribbon stand, but these I bought have the little holes and they won't fit on my stand. Um, so I just got them in a bin. I got more that I got to move out here. Um, and this is just tape and stuff, you know, never can have too much tape, right? Especially when you're working on something. Um, tie-dye stuff. Um, and then that's just like miscellaneous scraps and stuff like that. I, I save a lot of my scraps because you never know when you need just a little bitty piece. Um, I got a little table over here. I got a little uh, step ladder, my step stool. Um, the lights that Randy installed in here for me, got them off of Amazon and they're LEDs. Each of them is 22,000 lumens. So. Um, as you can see, I've got those turned off. I've only got three of them turned on in here, um, but they work really well. So um, I got this little table. I wanted to keep a table. Um, it has wheels, so it'll roll around and I can um, put it wherever I'm working at. Got my cute little blue fan. As you notice, um, turquoise is my color. So I tried to have as much little turquoise things in here as I could. A um, couple little stools in here, um, <clears throat> heat press um, on here. I got it turned sideways. Only thing with this heat press that I haven't figured out is the power. It takes a lot of power to operate it. So I'll probably not be able to run my air conditioner and that heat press at the same time, but we'll see. So um, this cabinet, um, I had fun painting. Um, it was actually in my garage, and it's old. It was probably taken out of my house um, by the previous owners and just stored in a garage. Um, it was pretty nasty, I'll tell you that, on the inside. I 
I had to do a little scrubbing. But um, I uh, painted it with a chalk paint, and then I painted the handles and all um, with a white um, spray paint. So what I have in here, I showed you um, the bins I got at Target. So what I did is I got shirts, t-shirts in here. I buy them. So like I said, I like to keep a lot of blanks on, ha on hand. So I've got six bins, all each sorted by size down there. And then this is full of little plastic shoe boxes with um, stuff divided up. I've just got like paper craft stuff, some miscellaneous tools, Velcro, molds, just, just whatever. Um, I keep all this stuff because they'll come over and you just don't know what you're going to do and then you can get in here and find all these little pieces and make something cool. Um, another cutting mat um, here by my sewing machine. So that's my little sewing machine, Project Runway. Um, so it, it gets what I need done. And then this has got some little drawers and I went ahead and um, I don't have these organized yet, but I found these little bins at um, Home Goods. So I like them. And then I lined the drawers and painted the insides too. Um, so I think it looks clean and neat. And then I got a booth in here. We found this years ago. Um, at a um, flea market in um, Eastland, Georgia. So it's been hanging out. Um, it's been in different places. Um, it was in Randy's shop when we were in Eastman. So that works well. Um, I got my little um, ribbon stand I told you about. Um, I probably have more ribbon inside and I can probably fill this thing on up. Um, my cousin, Shane, um, he's married to my cousin, made this for me um, a couple years ago and I really like it. I still use it. Um, it's a great way to keep up with all my ribbon and stuff. So and this is my um, computer over here um, where I do all my project stuff, design it or, or whatever I need to do to it. And beside it I have my um, silhouette um, and my um, sawgrass printer. printer. Um, and then that's all my vinyl for the silhouette and stuff. So, got all that. I've also got a little box down here that's got little miscellaneous stuff for the silhouette. So, I got all that stored down there. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and then on the wall over here, I've got my um, mat and my cutter and a pair of, extra pair of scissors um, for silhouette projects. I don't have a surface over here. But I've got this table close by um, this booth. I found this cheap little um, tablecloth at Dollar General, but because um, I don't want to mess up this tabletop, so this will work. So I can use this surface when I'm doing the silhouette projects. Um, and I haven't figured out what or if I'll put on this wall, but I'm sure I will. As I do projects, I'll see what I need to keep handy. But there it is. Um, all my little stations and I can't wait to get in here and start creating so thanks for watching I'll catch y'all later